What I think is important to emphasize is recognizing that you can go from very large number of clients to very few clients and still run a very profitable, successful practice. When I started my career, I was of the belief that I had to have as many clients as I possibly could. And I ran my practice that way for at least three years. Uh, but I was working really hard. And one of the most painful things that, that I experienced was losing clients. And slowly but surely, I came to the realization that we really didn't need a lot of clients to do a great job, not only for the clients, but for the team, for the practice, and uh, make it financially rewarding for me. Uh, so we uh, made the decision to eliminate several clients, a couple of hundred clients. Uh, so we still retain that today where we work with 96 different client families. And our goal of only bringing on six to eight new clients a year uh, has still continued to be very profitable for the practice. And they, of course, have to be the right client. As a team, we feel it's really important that we never sell to a client, but instead help them buy. And I think that difference is extremely important to understand, the difference between selling and assisting someone in buying. And the way I, I explain that is we assist a client through identification of their goals and why they're important to them and what the solutions are that they can use to help them accomplish that goal. And then we take them through those solutions and help them understand the pros and cons of those solutions as it relates to them. And what we've done by doing that is assisted them in buying because they're making decisions throughout that discussion as to what they're going to do and not do. And it's not up to us to come into a meeting, have a preconceived notion as to what the client should buy. It's more important that we assist them in that buying process by educating them. And then if we educate them properly, they're going to have far fewer questions on what they bought down the road. They're going to have far fewer complaints. They're going to have far fewer issues with it. And then it also gives us the opportunity to consistently revisit the notes and the discussion points around why they bought it a year or two or five down the road. And by doing that properly, I've eliminated the sale and made it very easy for them to implement, meaning buy. In our process, uh, we spend a lot of time educating uh, around an objective that a client has stated that that they in fact have. And we don't spend much time talking about specific products. Instead, we talk about the solutions or the concepts around it. And then a lot of times with regards to those concepts or those solutions, a product in the end is what makes sense. So believe it or not, we spend very little time on implementation or on placing product because if we go through the planning process properly, they've decided what they're gonna do and not do. It's really a very simple meeting. That's when we bring all the paperwork for them to sign related to the various products that they're going to implement with us. Um, and it's just a signing process. We don't need to sell it. We don't need to explain it because they've already determined what they're going to do and not do. Now, we do have some guidance with that because in our Solutions Activator meeting, we have a piece that we refer to as Solutions Activator. And that is a very short summary um, where across the top it says what the recommendation is in short form, what the very next step is that they need to take to accomplish it, what the intended impact is, keeping us on the same page as to why they're implementing this, whether they accept it or reject it. This is their money, and it's up to them every step of the way if they accept it or reject it. Who's responsible for it? Is it us, them, attorney, accountant, or some combination of persons? And then the last column we break into two, the plan date for completion, which is the date the client wants to complete it by, and the date that it actually gets completed. And you probably get the picture. This is our accountability piece to make sure that we can continue to serve as the catalyst to see that the things the client thinks are important get done in the time frame that they would like it done.